all the wonderful things that, that um, she did and experienced. Um, you know, and the pictures are fabulous too, you know, of her uh, in law school, right? And eventually being an attorney, what had 19, only 19 other black women right. in the state of, of New York. Just a whole bunch of white people. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just to imagine, because I know what it's, what it was like to go to law school in the 90s, I can only imagine at that time period where she is the only black woman, yeah. especially. Um, Sometimes the only black person. Person. Yeah. And she was often in those situations, right? Yeah. So this is not just a few people. You know, this is a consciousness, a, a, a national consciousness. Exactly. Uh, and in, in my life, I mean, I, I think uh, besides and Dorothy and my lecture partners, I mean, the, the first time I ever heard a feminist analysis of social policy was the National Welfare Rights Organization. Mm -hmm. And they had taken the welfare system, which at that point was not viewed as a women's issue, mm -hmm. but as entirely a poor or racial issue. And they had done an analysis of it, and it was so funny and so sharp <laughs> about, you know, it's like a gigantic husband, the welfare system, it looks under your bed for the shoes of other men. <laughs> it gives you just enough money to barely get along. I mean, it was, you know, it was the first feminist analysis of a social policy that I'd ever seen, and it was unforgettable. Um, Flo Kennedy would probably still be saying that uh, folks are t talking a bit too much about crotch control. <laughs> That's flow. That's a flowism. <laughs> White welcome. feminists are talking too much about crotch control. <laughs> um, uh, we can d talk about the pen pentagonorrhea. Pentagonorrhea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, spread, spreading a special military disease across the planet. <laughs> when, and when she thought sex work should be legalized, uh, originally when the organization uh, was starting, uh, there was some debate over whether, you know, and, and there's not, there's still debate about that. Get sex workers off the street, find other, you know, legal jobs and, and, and Flo was against that. She said no, the, the, the point is that we should actually unionize them, make sure that they're, they're, they're not uh, harassed by police, that they're not har harassed by jobs and, and so forth. Um, and she was really interested in, in, in seeing that as a, as a value, valued and high paying form of work that's open to women. When most work that is uh, high paying isn't open to women and she said until that can change, then we need to have make sure sex workers can do their jobs uh, free of harassment and violence and so forth. So she worked with Coyote in the, the very early days of helping to, to, to legalize sex work and to unionize sex work. However, she did not want to legalize uh, pimps, no. brothel owners, traffickers. <laughs> exactly. That was another story. Exactly. <laughs>